Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got for you a B&M haul. And I know everything is going to be like the wrong way round, if that makes sense, like the words are going to be the wrong way round. But I've got to be able to see what I'm doing, so I've got to have it on mirror. Um, but yeah, I went to B&M yesterday and and the range actually i only got a couple of things from the range but yeah b and had some nice home stuff but it was like some home stuff that i didn't really need so i would have just been buying it for the sake of it but they did have some good stuff and the range has its autumn stuff in so jack said i couldn't buy any autumn stuff he said we have to wait till autumn but as i was explaining to him you have to buy it now otherwise there's nothing when you get to autumn um but safe to say i didn't buy anything autumnal um but let's start with what i got in i think this is all from b and m is it let me pick that out that wasn't from b and m yeah i think this is all from b and m a photo frame if you know me it's not b and m haul without a photo frame <laughs> Um, but this one is just, um, don't know what they're called, freestanding, um, photo frame, because oh, I'm just struggling when I try and print photos, I seem to be unable to print them the size to go in these frames. Like it was my mum's birthday the other week and I tried to fin tried to print a photo of me and my brothers to go in a frame because I thought, oh, that'd be really nice for her. And I couldn't get it to be the right size. I was getting really stressed. So hopefully photos will go in this photo frame. But this was £3.50. Really annoying actually because I went into Asda first. Because that's we were getting Asda pizzas for dinner. Um, so we went into Asda and they had some for like £1 something. And I said to Jack, I can't remember if they're cheaper in B&M. But they weren't. But it's fine. We move. So I got that. And then I got two of these these are the wrong way up these are picture shelves i always call these floating shelves but apparently they're not floating shelves i think floating shelves are when they haven't got like ledges and they just go in um but in one of our rooms i wanted to store some stuff on these so my dad put one up for me the other day but i need oh my god my nail How's that happened? Oh well. Um, yeah, my dad put up one of these for me the other week, but um, one wasn't enough, so I've got two more for my dad to put up. And he doesn't know yet, but he'll be putting them up. He did show me how to do it, but I'm not confident enough to do it yet because I don't want to break the walls. But I'm quite precious about my house now. Like this is kind of, it depends who you speak to as to whether or not this is boring, but um, the pink stuff, Miracle Oxy colour stain powder remover, whatever. Um, I know I need another one of them. So Then something me and Jack went past, haven't seen these before, um, in B&M, but we, we, to be honest, he's actually tried one of these already. But we got these three, um, what they called seasoning shakers. So we got Perry Perry Salt in this one, um, the Caribbean Jerk Style, and I don't know why I'm shaking it. Um, the Mexican seasoning shaker, the Mexican one basically. Um, so Jack has tried this one today. I think it was quite spicy. Um, but these were a bargain actually. Um, we weren't sure whether or not to get them because, as I say, we're trying to be really, really good with money at the moment and, like, basically not spend any money. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Jack saw these and I was like, well, get them then because in Tesco, when I buy my seasonings, it's, like, that big and it's, like, a pound and these were a pound each. So I thought this is so much better value. Um, and this, what is it? That's so random. Why is it like that? These two are 300 grams and this one's 315 grams. 
But um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be decent. Then we got another Frank. I don't have this. This is Jack's Frank's Red Hot Sauce. In my opinion, not that exciting. And neither is this. Jack wanted, um, he likes this Mayflower curry sauce when he does like a fake away Chinese. He does this one, but this is the extra hot one. I don't know if he knows that. He does like spice, but I don't know if he likes it that spicy. Then we got, I'm excited. Oh, is it leaked? No, it's got a cap on. I'm excited by this, but I'm also nervous by this. So I got, um, I've tried some stuff from this company before. It's called the Skinny Food Company. Um, but I'm a bit nervous about this to be honest with you um i've tried their spreads before and they're unreal i've tried their um chocolate one their white chocolate one and the hazelnut one and the hazelnut one literally tastes like kinder bueno um but they're all supposed to be like zero sugar or something um i'm a bit nervous this is the zero calorie golden syrup and the reason i got this is because um Sometimes me and Jack make, well, I call it flapjacks, but it's not flapjacks. Um, I think I've actually got a, is it a shorts on my YouTube for how to make this? But you use porridge oats, a little bit of butter, a bit of brown sugar and golden syrup. Um, but it's obviously not that healthy. So we thought we could exchange the normal golden syrup for this because it says zero calorie golden syrup and it would be really good. <laughs> Um, it was a little bit more, so I think they had a, a Lyle's golden syrup in there for one seventy five, and this was one ninety nine. Um, but I thought if it's nice, it's worth giving a go. But it's very—I don't know if you can see it—it's very thin. Don't know. That's not really showing you, but it's basically very thin texture. Whereas obviously golden syrup is normally really thick, isn't it? Um, so I don't know. I'm intrigued to try it, but I'm a little bit nervous. But um, yeah, got one of them. But right, this is so exciting, in my opinion. Does anyone remember when you could go to, like, um, what they call, like, little old sweet shops and you'd get, you'd, like, do it. It's like a pick and mix. You basically pick all the sweets you wanted and they'd weigh, weigh them. Um, I used to get one that was called Toffee Crumble. And this is essentially Toffee Crumble. So they're called Choc Nibbles. Um, I don't know what brand they're by. It's definitely a well-known brand because I recognise the packaging. What's it called? Sweet Dreams. Maybe not. No, I feel like I don't know Sweet Dreams. But um, yeah, I've got the original flavour. So I've tried this before. But I haven't tried the caramelised biscuit ones before. I'm going to do a live taste test. So... Um, sorry to Jack because he's out at the moment and these will probably be gone by the time he gets home. Okay. I do really like these, by the way. I know my face wasn't really given that away. <laughs> um, they're quite gingery, actually. Oh yeah, now I've started, I'm not going to be able to stop. Biscuit and caramel flavoured. I'm not sure I'd agree with that. I would say this is more gingery. But it's really good. Can't stop, bear with. Mm, mm. Mm. I love these. Right. Otherwise I will, will keep eating. So now onto the range. I only got three things in the range because, sorry, I'm kind of all chocolate in my teeth now. Um, yeah, I only got three things from the range because, oh, to be honest with you, I could buy loads in there, but Jack was moaning. <laughs> That's why I didn't spend long in there. He was like, oh, I'm hungry, I want to go home. He loves being at him, but he hates the range. I don't know why, I think it's a fantastic shop. No, he doesn't hate it, but I think because I like looking at like, the fake flowers and the candles and all the 
more girly decorative bits. He's not into that. Whereas in B&M, like, I could just sell him to the spices bit and he'd be like, sorted. But firstly, I got this. Oh, <laughs> I just heard a noise and wondered what it was. But it's because I've just tapped against some china. Um, well, this isn't actually for me, but I do own one of these. It's a flameless, um, it says real wax, a realistic flickering um, candle. So they're battery operated, aren't they? Yeah, battery operated candles. And you turn them on and basically, I don't know if you can really see, but this bit flickers away like a real flame. Well, like my candle over there is doing. It actually looks like a real candle and these are really good. I've got some lanterns from Ikea that I wanted to have um, two real ca well two candles um, in them by the curtains, but I didn't really want to have real candles because obviously it's not very safe. Um, so I got faux, faux ones, fake ones. Um, but my mum, she got a lantern type thing for her birthday recently for my brother. And my mum doesn't really like burning real candles, especially like on the floor. So I said to her I'd pick her up one of these when I was next in the range. Um, so I've grabbed out one of them. And then I've got this jug, which I think is really cute. So this is not to use as a jug. I want to use this as like, I don't really know. Basically, I've got a jug downstairs, which is from the Mrs. Hinch range, which is, it says home is where the heart is. It's like a beige colour and I want to put something in it. And I want to put something in this. I feel like they look cute for flowers, but I don't want real flowers to go in there. I want fake flowers to go in there that stay in there forever. So I've got this grey jug. I think it's really cute. These are angel wings in the shape of a heart. This looks really cute. But yeah, I love that. I was so like, oh, shall I get it? Shall I not? Because I was going to buy some flowers first. And I thought, you know what? I really want it. So yeah, I'm going to buy it. And then the last thing, this is quite a quick haul really, that I bought was... Um, for our living room so downstairs we have got um some ikea calax units i think they're the calax units so we've got one for where our tv is um and then we've got some this is hard to explain we've got our tv there then we've got a sofa here which is a corner sofa and then we've got a calax unit that's like the four one yeah it's like a square so it's two two by two um, and then next to it, we've got the same one that's by the TV, but like long ways, that's a four. Um, and that's quite empty because I don't really know what to put in there. So I've decorated it with like candles and some re a re-diffuser. I think I've got a photo frame in there. But then I wanted something else. So I got this, which I think is really cute. So they had it in a couple of colours, but we don't really have any black in our room. It's like white and grey. So I thought, well, actually, if we get a black one, that'll look really cute. So got this I can't remember how much this was don't know but um yeah just thought it's really cute right just have to have a couple more of these see I shouldn't have opened these Jack's not going to get to try any but it's okay mm. love them this is probably so bad for you. Okay. About 800 calories in this bag. Well, it'll be 800 calories that I'll have consumed by the end of the night. So we're going to have these. But then I won't have these the same day. I don't know. I'm glad I didn't open these. But... They're just so Moorish. I don't know why, but. Oh. I love them. Anyway, before I actually finish these. Um, yeah, that was everything I bought from B&M and the range. I know there's not that much. Um, but as I say, I was trying to not be just buying stuff for the sake of buying it. But all autumn stuff is sort of in the shop. I know a lot of people have said the same with places like Primark and stuff, that they've got loads of autumn stuff in. And I'm actually going to go to Primark soon. So if I buy anything, obviously you get a Primark haul. Um, but 
yeah for now that is everything that i got from b&m and the range so most of it was from b&m just the fake handle the little heart sculpture and the jug just those off in the range and i think that all came to like 20 one pound maybe um so yeah not too bad to be fair but that is it so i hope you have a lovely day please subscribe if you are new and you have liked watching this video and look out for my next video